<laughs> All right. I don't know about like that. Like for example, they have a tree called Trumpet <laughs> Tree. People refer to it and believe that as like the Bushman cigar. You smoke that, you see all kinds of gods appear. <laughs> all right. Then they have certain types of animals that you can actually swipe. <clears throat> Boy, you be on Clyde Ten. All right. Just off a lick off of their back. All right. Now let's keep in mind, all of you down here, and I'm up there. I start to chant. I start to dance. And then after I dropped my Jaguar skin cloth, I got me a stingray spine. So when it goes in, it goes in smooth. And when it pulls out, it's jagging and ripping all the flesh around me. All right? Now, the men do the figurines. We know that the men used to bore the genital areas. Ladies, we also know we bore different areas of their body. Tongue, lips, nipples, whatever. Places where blood will flow from the most. Now, let's imagine I take off this, got on my jade, I take out my... Stingray spine and I bore myself. Walk up. Walk up. Blood oh. starts to saturate my loincloth. All right. I fall out. Ugh. I'm in an ecstatic trance. In this ecstatic trance now, I arise back up, and to me appears a cloud of smoke, sweet-smelling incense unknown to the world, and then the vision serpent which they believe is one of the things that will link communication between this world and the world of the gods. Now, I tell you like this. I will not give you the sun after tomorrow if you do not bring me corn, jade, uh, rice, and cocoa seeds, different things that was important for my everyday lifestyle. All right? So now you guys are scurrying. Because now I'm telling you, if you don't give me this, I'm going to take away your son. And you know the rulers, they are the ones endowed with secret powers of the unseen. So all you guys, you come, you bring your goods, you bring your goods, and then we watch when the eclipse occurs, the eclipse pass, and then you guys are even more in my favor because you have given me what I wanted and I gave you what you wanted. Now this is one of the ways or one of the means of how the Mayas used to rule their people. I'm the only one that can predict these things and you can't, so what I do, I use it against you. All right? But that's just an idea just to show you how the Mayas used to rule during their time. Somewhat similar to how they rule today, if you ask me. They just use different means and ways. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, one of the most important buildings that I is this one here, which is the A1. That they're on. They found over 300 pieces of jade within this tomb. It was the earliest burial you found here at this site, dating to 550 to 600. This structure has seven different construction phases. The Mayas had the onion skin concept. Peel off one, there's the other, so there's nothing left. They believed that after every 50 years or so, the buildings had to be remodified in some major way, which is why for them, all of their buildings have lifespans and being covered more than one time in their construction history. All right? Not only did they find 300 pieces of jade, but they also found non-perishable items, such as bowls, uh, shells, necklaces, and different types of pendants, which is to signify that whoever this person was, he was an elite member of a society here for Alton Hot. You know, he was buried, and all of his personal belongings was found with him. However, at first, when they excavated it, they were at, what you say, a surprise. Because keep in mind that these buildings have been here 1,300 years before they have been discovered or rediscovered. During that 1300 years, a lot of the tops have been desecrated through time, through overgrown vegetation. So the ceiling starts to give exposure. Walls start to collapse in. So when you first see that, you're looking at, wow, this place has been